During World War II, I was an engineer, said he, engineer gunner in a B-24 bomber fighting in the South Pacific. One day, an announcement was made that the longest bombing flight ever made would be attempted to knock out an oil refinery. The promptings of the Spirit told me I would be assigned on this flight and that I would not return. At the time, I was the president of the LDS group. The combat was ferocious as we flew over Borneo. Our plane was hit by attacking planes and soon burst into flames. And the pilot told us, prepare to jump. We were shot at by enemy pilots as we floated down. I had trouble inflating my life raft. Bobbing up and down in the water, I began to drown and passed out. I came to momentarily and cried, God save me. Again, I tried inflating the life raft and was successful with just enough air in it to keep me afloat. I rolled over on top of it, too exhausted to move. For three days we floated about in enemy territory, with ships all about us and planes overhead. Why they couldn't see a yellow group of rafts on blue water is a mystery to me, he wrote. A storm came up and waves 30 feet high almost tore our rafts apart. Three days went by with no food or water. The others asked me if I prayed. I answered that I surely did pray and that we would indeed be rescued. That evening, we saw our submarine, which we thought had come to rescue us, but it passed us by. The next morning, it did the same. We knew this was the last day it would be in the area. Then came the promptings of the Holy Ghost. 
Theron, you have the priesthood. Command the sub to pick you up. Brother Borup said silently, I prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, and by the power of the priesthood, turn around and pick us up. In a few minutes, they were alongside of us. When on deck, the captain said, I don't know how we ever found you. We're not even looking for you. But I knew, he said. 